Guys, before we start this video, I just wanted to say to go follow SlyPi on Instagram. He's trying to reach 10,000 followers, and we want to get him there as fast as possible. He has early updates on videos, customs, and you also get a chance to talk to him personally. So, make sure you go follow him and hit that button. Yo, what is going guys? Slipa here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a glitch trap plush using your already owned spring body plush. So to start this video, you're going to need all sorts of different colors of fabric, such as like a golden color to kind of match spring Bonnie's skin tone. You're going to need, you're going to need good old, uh, good old purple here. You're going to need like a skin color, like a tan, um, because we're going to need to replace some of the, um, the colors and textures on Spring Bonnie, and then you're gonna need some markers and some hot glue and all that good stuff. All right, guys. So to start off with this plush, we're going to need to take our our sort of skin color uh, felt, and we're going to cut like a almost like a little U shape to go right under the mouth to be the lower jaw, and then we'll get the upper like snout. We'll replace that, you know, do the eyes and get on with the rest of it but yeah so we're gonna start with the lower jaw so once I got a general shape but don't worry this is not the actual jaw itself I'm gonna take my black sharp and I'm gonna outline how I want to cut it and then I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna glue that on okay so I got the shape down now all I need to do is really hot glue it so before I do that I'm actually gonna cut off this tie I'll put it back on later don't worry I'm gonna cut it off so it's kind of out of the way so I can start gluing okay I cut off the tie now let's get gluing And there we go, we got it all glued on, that's the lower jaw. Okay, so now we're gonna do like the same thing we do at the bottom, except we're gonna do the top, you know, the, the muzzle. So that's gonna be a little bit more tricky, but we're gonna get it done. Okay, so I got sort of a rough draft cut out, and we're gonna try and figure out a way to get this hot glued on nicely without ruining the entire tutorial. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Alright, now watch me suffer through and try and glue this thing on. Okay, and I successfully glued the muzzle on. Now I'm gonna color in the black and put in the teeth. Okay, I colored in the mouth black, now we're gonna move on to putting in the nose and the teeth. Okay, so I cut these two teeth out, and now I'm gonna cut a ton of other ones and put them in place. Okay, and that is the teeth and the nose, now we're gonna move on to the whiskers. Okay, so I cut out four little whiskers that I'm gonna hot glue onto his muzzle. Okay, I got the whiskers and the teeth on, now we're gonna move on to the eyes. Okay, so I put on the eyes, now I'm gonna put on the eyelids and do the eyelashes. I'm doing this shape for the eyelids, and I'm gonna glue them on with hot glue. Okay, so now I put on the eyelashes and the eyelids, now I'm gonna do the eyebrows. Okay, so I put on the eyebrows, and now with the ears, I'm going to have to use the same tan fabric that I did for the muzzle and duplicate that and put that on the ears with hot glue. Alright guys, it's actually been a couple months um, in between making this video. Uh, I was just, I was just going to finish the tutorial, but um, you know, some other stuff came up and some other customs came up and all that stuff. And I've given this a lot of thought and I kind of want to just edit this guy and make him look a little bit better, a little bit more like um, Glitch Trap. So right now I'm currently just working on a new mouth, one that looks a lot more accurate if that makes sense, um, because this one's too, way too small. <laughs> And before I put on this new uh, mouth addition, um, I also made this little pattern for um, a legit snout. Cause I just, I didn't like the look of the mouth. Every time I looked at the plush, I was like, oh, that just looks bad. And it was just bugging me. Uh, and yeah, let, we're just gonna fix it. The pattern's literally so easy. You just make like a triangle and then they go out and up and then, you know, around. There's some cuts right here. Um, nothing crazy it's it's really really easy honestly okay so I sewed the like legit snout on it looks pretty good it blends with this pretty well um, it doesn't bother me uh, I, I mean yeah so um, now we're gonna sew the new mouth on and it should look pretty good and then I think we're gonna redo the underside just to give it a little bit more of a blend and then I want to actually unsew these ears and make them further apart, kind of like glitch trap. 
and then we'll move on to the body which shouldn't be hard so once the head's out of the way we'll be pretty good and the rest will be pretty easy oh and i'll put on the whiskers as well <laughs> and just like that we got the bottom mouth done and now let's just get the bottom jaw just to give it a better look and that will be it for the mouth other than the whiskers we'll add that and then we'll work on the ears all right so it'll look something like this i haven't um actually hawk loaded on yet but just get that strip on there and then we are going to do the whiskers and i i'm gonna be using a new material for the whiskers okay so for the whiskers i'm gonna be using these um shoelacy materials i don't I, like exactly know how to explain it but let me just get the camera to focus <laughs> it's focusing on the back okay, yeah. It's just this like shoelacy material, um, but yeah, I just cut these up and we're gonna use them as the whiskers. Alright, so I got the teeth on there, and now I'm gonna just unsew the ears real quick and uh, spread those out just a bit, and maybe even um, sew the little patches up a little bit more and make them a little crooked just to, you know, look a little bit more like glitch trap. So let's do this. Okay, so I got the ears removed. It looks pretty silly, um, but I'm just gonna spread them out and sew them back on, and then I'm going to make them a little crooked just to look more like glitch trap. Oh look, they're sewing right there. I mean thread, I'm stupid. Okay, so I um, made little threads going into the ears, um, as you can see, making it look a little bit more um, in the glitch trap direction. Now I'm going to uh, sew these back on the head, and then we'll move on to the body. Alright, so I sewed on the ears, and they're nice and separated, and they look really, really good, not even gonna lie. So now, using my pattern that I already have from, pre from previously dissecting plushies, I'm going to make the vest, and then I'm going to just add um, this bow tie and these buttons. But right before I do that, I'm going to use the same fabric, and I'm just going to fill in this, you know, fix the uh, feet and hands and make them the same color as this and then i'm also going to add little toes on the top right here and yay let's get to it okay so i got all these pieces cut out and now i just need to hot glue them onto the plush Okay, so now I got these all um, hot glued on, and I'm just going to put on the buttons real quick and the bow tie. So just real quick, I'm going to slip these on uh, like that, and then like that, and I'll slip on the bow tie. And just like that. Now we just need to get the vest done and we'll be good. So for the vest I'm going to be using this little pattern that I cut out a long time ago. Um, and I'm just going to be using the purple fabric tracing it on there and cutting out the vest. And there it is, just like that, that is the Glitch Trap plush. It took quite a while, but I think it paid off. This looks absolutely amazing, and I'm really happy that I took the time to make this. Um, but yeah. Also, I forgot to mention that I added a little fuzz tail at the end because he does have a tail. But yeah, that is pretty much it. This is the Glitch Trap plush, and it looks really cool. Can't wait to use this in vids. Um, and yeah, this is this is really really neat um, If you guys did follow along with the little sort of tutorial uh, I would totally love to see your videos if you guys would upload them. That would be awesome But yeah, this is the glitch trap plush. Hope you guys did enjoy this video um, Like if you uh, like this plush comment down below What's your favorite FNAF plush and guys make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore sly pie underscore I post updates about things all the time such as this and you can see content early before it's released on the channel. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, later.